good evening doctors and good evening online viewers our today's topic is atrial fibrillation i am going to explain you about the atrial fibrillation now so see what is atrial fibrillation atrial fibrillation i am going to draw the diagram first see here this is superior vena cava this one is inferior vena cava and this is right atrium this is tricuspid valve and this one is right ventricle and this is pulmonary artery this is pulmonary artery or trunk you can see okay and here is it pulmonary valve okay another one i am going to explain you and uh, this one is left atrium and here is it the mitral valve then left ventricle and this one is aorta aortic valve and here is the pulmonary vein pulmonary vein why i am explaining this video in this manner because here is it sa node sinoatrial node when it fires and here it's the av node atrioventricular node and sa node give conduction to our right atrium and left atrium when they contract they develop the sinus rhythm but in case of atrial fibrillation the ectopic bead develop in atria like this like this so many ectopic beads so it is known as quickening atrial fibrillation we can see the quickening q u i c k e n i n g quickening or ectopic topic beads development due to atria they fires so much and reentry is known as the atrial fibrillation my dear friends and uh, another one firstly see this way okay there ah uh, yeah the quality is good okay then we are going to see by ecg ecg c here it is p wave then it is qrs in normal ecg and this one is t wave then p wave then normal qrs then p wave then t wave the normal qrs okay but in case of atrial fibrillation what happen there is fibrillating waves but no p qrs complex then t wave then fibrillating waves then no p then qrs complex and then fibrillating t waves then fibrillating waves fibrillating then qrs complex so here r and r distances three large boxes here r and r distances five large boxes so we have to remember in case of atrial fibrillation p absent first important finding is absent p so non sinus is it non sinus we are going to know rr interval is normal so regular rhythm in normal ecg but this one rr rr it's abnormal so not regular irregular rhythm so here it is irregular rhythm r y t h m here is it the irregular rhythm in atrial fibrillation and we measure pr interval also but here no p that's why none no pr interval then we are going to measure qrs complex qrs complex uh, if we see three small boxes so 3 into 0.04 it's equal to 0.12 so qrs complex must be normal in case of atrial fibrillation okay doctors so i hope till here it's clear and now i am going to explain the causes of atrial fibrillation atrial fibrillation the ecg i hope clear for you in any uh, fibrillation ecg you can answer very easily now causes causes have you ever seen the movie pirates of caribbean so i took this pirates p i r a t e s okay friends okay doctors so let's see here like p represent here p e p e is pulmonary embolism pulmonary embolism like here in pulmonary artery when it occurs here some embolus and there is a blockage so right ventricular pressure rises and right atria not contract properly or the contract ectopically so many bit due to uh, pressure so that's why they develop atrial fibrillation pulmonary embolism in copd also chronic obstructive pulmonary disease also there's a pressure on the right atrium due to right ventricle okay iatrogenic 
iatrogenic means medically induced like uh, surgically induced like heart surgery cabg and some other causes the uh, atrial fibrillation like r represent here rhd rheumatic heart disease like mitral regurgitation mitral regurgitation mitral stenosis some causes the cause of ectopic beats like mitral valve tear and which back pressure increases atherosclerosis atherosclerosis in case of mi in myocardial infarct there is infarct in pulmonary artery in the pulmonary trunk sometimes it causes the blockage and there is a pressure on right ventricle and then it will lead the pressure towards the right atrium and it causes the ectopic beats premature ecto uh, not premature ectopic beats in atrial fibrillation in, in both atria like tt represent thyrotoxicosis t h y thyrotoxicosis toxicosis thyrotoxicosis are in hyperthyroidism hyperthyroidism so we have to measure tsh and free t4 in case of atrial fibrillation and e represent here endocarditis endocarditis i already explained my lecture there so in endocarditis the walls are affected like mitral valve and it causes the atrial fibrillation in as represent here six sinus syndrome s i c k six sinus sinus syndrome what is it i am going to explain you now like c p wave qrs complex then t wave but here long pause no p wave no qrs complex then q wave then t wave so a long pause of no p absent of p and qrs complex the pause this is known as the six sinus syndrome my dear friends it also causes sometimes atrial fibrillation i hope till here it's clear for you now i am going to explain you the classification classification of atrial fibrillation we are going to classify the atrial fibrillation in three parts like persistent p e r s i s t a n t persistent and uh, like paroxysmal and uh, it right here paroxysmal paroxysmal persistent and permanent permanent what is paroxysmal paroxysmal less than 7 days atrial fibrillation persistent more than 7 days atrial fibrillation recurrent episode but permanent is so long time long period of time there is atrial fibrillation i hope till here it's clear it's not a difficult task for us the difference between paroxysmals and permanent so uh, investigation we can do ecg ecg i already explained and further we can go for cell hormonal investigation like tsh also because in case of thyroid and we have to rule out all the causes like pulmonary embolism d dimer it can cause the atrial fibrillation like iatrogenic causes we have to know and how to treat treatment a b c d a represent anticoagulant nt coagulant like warfarin and comedin if we are going to give warfarin we have to measure the inr and comedin c a u m e d n comedin why warfarin because we already know some clots also can cause beta blocker blocker like metaprolol metaprolol why we are going to use because it reduces the heart rate also calcium channel blocker because it reduces the bp and heart rate both together and digoxin because is it the joxin it is anti arrhythmic so my dear friends i hope till here it's very much clear for you and uh, i have one question uh, in case of atrial fibrillation i will ask some questions and you have to answer i in atrial fibrillation is sinus wave is present or absent uh, my question goes to mla yes or no d no yes sinus wave is not present yes he is absolutely right he is not sleeping in my class very good very good answer okay so my dear friends uh till here i hope clear uh, for you all and if you have any comments or any suggestion you can ask me and if you still not subscribe my channel so please subscribe my channel 
and if you like please put like on it and if you want to watch any more uh, videos so you can suggest me i will put more videos and uh, this is the lecture on atrial fibrillation if you haven't watched the normal ecg lecture so please firstly see that one lecture and after that you have to watch this atrial fibrillation and my further videos i am going to coming with so all the arrhythmias which happens so i hope that till here it's clear and uh, i'm sure in future if you are going to try or practice some eicgs uh, you definitely mm, always always you have ability to solve the atrial fibrillation tissue uh, ecg you can easily diagnose and rule out this is atrial fibrillation okay my dear friends have a good day goodbye take care have a nice day